Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2019-2020 Chester County Intermediate Unit Awards Town Hall. Today marks 37 years of celebrating excellence. Since I joined Team CCIU last August, I've been looking forward to this night that I've heard so many wonderful things about. A night where we have the chance to take a break from our busy day-to-day -day operations to honor the very special people that make the CCIU the great educational leader it is. But I'd be remiss to not acknowledge that this evening looks very different from what many of you are used to. Although this isn't the way we had hoped to celebrate, we still felt it was important to acknowledge everyone for their outstanding achievements, and I'm happy to have you all here virtually. As you all know, 2020 has been a year of overcoming challenges for all of us, as individuals, as families, as an organization, as a community, and as a nation. For those we are here to recognize tonight, I appreciate your patience and understanding in the delay of delivering your awards, as many of our vendors are currently shut down. But I want to assure you that we will get your awards as soon as we are able to do so safely. Now, without further ado, please join me in welcoming Ms. Bonnie Wolf, President of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Board of Directors. President Wolf will bring greetings from our Board of Directors. Thank you, Dr. Fiore. To say that this COVID-19 quarantine has been challenging is a bit of an understatement, but it has brought out the creativity in every staff member of the IU that I and the board have seen and appreciate. While it is a bit strange speaking to you from home, this town hall is a direct result of that creativity. And while I'd much prefer to see you all in person, I'm glad we have the opportunity to fully celebrate our special honorees today. So with that said, on behalf of the Board of Directors, welcome to the virtual 2020 Outstanding Service Awards presentation. We send our congratulations to our long-term employees, OSA recipients, the Annie Sullivan Award winner, and our CCIU Hall of Fame inductees. We truly value all you have done for our students and staff. I'd also like to thank those who nominated our honorees because you took the time to notice your coworkers' outstanding direct or indirect contributions to our students' educational experiences and shared with the board, we now have the privilege of recognizing their contributions to the CCIU. The IU is the organization it is because of staff like all of you. I can't imagine a better group of role models for our students. You all make a difference and we thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, President Wolf. Now on to the awards portion of this evening. This year, we are proud to recognize 35 retirees. Joining me now to read the names are Dr. Danielle Schoninger and Ms. Maureen Linehan. Greetings from Human Resources. Maureen and I have the pleasure of recognizing our CCIU retirees. This list includes anyone with 10 years of service or more who is retiring this year as well as anyone who retired since our awards banquet last year. Luann Alting, 17 years of service. Peggy Barden, 13 years of service. Charlotte Barker, 24 years of service. Priscilla Barkman, 15 years of service. Lewis Binschwitz, 10 years of service. Lori Boyd, 16 years of service. Linda Brown, 17 years of service. Trish Byron, 21 years of service. Janet Chesnett, 11 years. Mary Clay, 36 years. Regina Cosfull, 10 years of service. Claire Curran, 15 years of service. Eileen DePaul, 10 years. Kathy Duran, 23 years of service. Sharon Fremont, 10 years. Carol Gotthold, 25 years. 
Henry Heisey, 19 years. Susan Hillsberg, 17 years. Margaret Horning, 13 years. Liz Hummel, 15 years. Marie Lawson, 30 years. Karen Malatesta, 10 years. Patricia Mostyn, 14 years. Trisha Quinn, 26 years. Kathy Raymond, 18 years. Terry Ryder, 10 years. Anne Marie Rudolph, 16 years. Cheryl Schoner, 31 years. Peter Slough, 13 years. Terry Stewart, 17 years. Sanjaria Strauss, 14 years. Mary Tress, 19 years. Al Tucker, 22 years. Wiley Van Sant, 19 years. Anila Vergesi, 15 years. Curtis Webb, 18 years. And Tammy Wickstrom, 36 years. Congratulations to all the CCIU retirees. Thank you, Danielle and Maureen, and to all of our retirees. In addition to the retirees, we would also like to recognize our employees reaching years of service milestones. There are 10 individuals this year who have served the CCIU for 25 years. And tonight I have the honor of recognizing the following employees. Sylvie Baccaro, Food Services Manager. Tanya Farnham, Communications Manager. Carol Gotthold, Speech and Language Therapist. Helene Marchiando, Instructional Assistant. Sean Myers, Instructional Assistant. Mauricio Raboyo, Migrant Education Recruiter. Sharon Shoemaker, Training and Consultation Specialist. William Smith, Senior Hardware Technician. Alyssa Steinke, Speech and Language Therapist. Melanie Zimich, Instructional Assistant. This year, we also have 10 employees celebrating 30 years of service with the Chester County Intermediate Unit. Patricia Clark, bus aide. Jose Serrano, Jr., maintenance, HVAC and energy management. Kathleen Ehrlich, learning support teacher. Judith O'Neill, Technology Support Specialist. Kelly Olifeld, Preschool Special Education Teacher. Richard Kleindienst, Learning Support Teacher. Rebecca Lewis, Special Education Teacher. Vicki Canham, Operations Secretary. James Morgatan, Senior, Building and Ground Supervisor. Jennifer Kaplan, 
guidance counselor. Next, we have four employees who are celebrating 35 years of service with the Chester County Intermediate Unit. First, Mary Aiken, multi-disability support teacher. Kathy Benson, TCHS Pickering Secretary. Eileen Craig, Vision and Hearing Services teacher. And John DeMillion, Director of Information Technology. And finally, we have one employee who is celebrating 40 years of service with the Chester County Intermediate Unit. And that is Dr. Eileen Weaver, Supervisor of Non-Public Services. What an accomplishment. And we thank all of you for everything that you do for our students, staff, and community each and every day. I would like now to welcome Dr. Jacqueline Orris to introduce this year's recipient of the Annie Sullivan Award, Dr. Alana Betts. The Annie Sullivan Award, named after Helen Keller's devoted teacher and mentor, is presented to someone who embodies the very best of all of us. This year, the award is being presented to Dr. Alana Betts. Alana's assignments at the CCIU have changed and evolved over the course of 17 years, but her professional excellence has remained consistent regardless of the challenges thrown her way. This award is being presented to Alana for her unwavering dedication to at-risk, vulnerable, and all too often overlooked use. Alana's passion for providing a voice to the voiceless has been a hallmark of her work throughout her career. Ironically, as a school psychologist, Alana derives great satisfaction from her ability to be a teacher by finding opportunities to educate students and staff about issues related to diversity, multicultural education, and those living in poverty, as well as advocating for the fair and equitable treatment of all students. For these reasons and so many more, we are so proud to honor Dr. Alana Betts as this year's Annie Sullivan Award winner. Thank you, Dr. Oris. Our next group of honorees are those who have been named Outstanding Service Award winners. These are the type of employees and individuals who are an asset to any team. These recipients do not just work hard, they do their job with an extraordinary amount of enthusiasm and success. This is the CCIU's way of saying thank you for going above and beyond on a daily basis to make Chester County a better place to live, grow, learn, and work. This is a very special honor, and it is a joint effort between the staff and our Chester County Intermediate Unit Board to shine a light on the employees who give a little something extra. It begins with our staff, your colleagues, who notice how hard you have worked on behalf of those we serve, and then take the time to nominate you for the award. Then the hard part begins. As our board members meet to review all of the nominations, and try to select a small subset of the nominated individuals who will rec receive an Outstanding Service Award. We have so many outstanding staff members, and it is our honor to recognize our 17 recipients for 2019-20. The presentations will be made by the division directors for the staff within their division. President Wolf will present the award to two honorees who are not employed by the Chester County Intermediate Unit, but have made such a positive impact that we felt that they were deserving of this prestigious award. Without further delay, let's hear about this year's winners. Janet Davis has been serving as a special education teacher at the CCIU for over 25 years. Her highly structured professional, yet patient and fun approach to teaching makes her an irreplaceable asset to our organization. She not only demonstrates excellent performance of her daily responsibilities, but she also consistently and willingly devotes her time and energy beyond the requirements of her role. Janik's extraordinary dedication to her students and to the teaching profession have benefited both the staff and the students of the CCIU. It is really evident that her colleagues and students view her as a role model and admire her work ethic. For these reasons and for many more, we are pleased to present her with an Outstanding Service Award. Congratulations, Janet. Using outstanding customer service skills, 
creative and positive thinking, and a work ethic that comes from deeply caring about those that we serve. Melanie Coldiron positively impacts many students, teachers, and educators throughout Chester County. As manager of CCIU's Teacher Center, Melanie incorporates an attitude of service in everything that she does and takes on additional assignments with enthusiasm. Melanie has displayed her willingness to go above and beyond to serve the CCIU and its customers in multiple instances, including her leading her staff through a smooth transition when the Teacher Center moved from the ESC to the CCIU Learning Center. Melanie, in recognition for your remarkable work ethic and desire to provide outstanding customer service, we are pleased to present you with this Outstanding Service Award. Congratulations, Melanie. I'm sure you've heard the expression Jack of all trades, but have you heard of Jane of all trades? Because that's exactly the phrase used to describe Dr. Elizabeth de Giglielmo. Not only is Liz, or Dr. D as she's affectionately called, an excellent teacher and case manager who builds paramount relationships with her students and serves as a mentor for other teachers within the building, but she also volunteered to join eight different committees within the CCIU Learning Center. Liz plays a pivotal role in each of these roles and she meets every task or challenge she faces with poise and professionalism. Liz, your dedicated efforts and perennial hard work is instrumental at the Learning Center. You are a glue that helps hold things together and on behalf of the CCIU, we would like to present you with an outstanding service award to thank you for all that you do. Congratulations, Liz. If you ever planned a big event or party, you undoubtedly know the stress that goes into making sure every detail is in order. Now imagine overseeing these events for every single person or group that utilizes the Chester County Intermediate Units Conference Center. Mike Tantillo is known as a go-getter who exudes the can-do IU attitude. Even when it's beyond normal operating hours, Mike is always willing to help a customer in need with a room setup, a technical issue. He is a problem solver who is ever focused on the ultimate end goal, a successful meeting and a satisfied customer. Mike, your willingness to go above and beyond for all Chester County IU customers sets a true example for all of us. Your tireless commitment to ensuring the conference center runs smoothly is just one of the many reasons we are honored to award you with an outstanding service award. Congratulations, Mike. Eileen Ewing has an excitement for literacy that is absolutely invigorating. As a reading specialist at the Child and Career Development Center, Eileen is responsible for motivating students with highly disruptive behaviors to engage in one of the most challenging educational tasks writing, and she loves every minute of it. Under her guidance and enthusiasm, the CDC has become a leader in the area of writing instruction for students with behavioral challenges and a model for other special education programs. While literacy is her primary focus, Eileen can also be found participating on student collaboration teams, creating data collection procedures, organizing student events, and making connections with students in crisis, making her a true champion for children. Congratulations, Eileen, on your outstanding service award, and thank you for providing our students with a priceless gift that will last them a lifetime. According to a quote by Sheila Graham, food is the most primitive form of comfort, in which case 93 Head Start families are certainly feeling very loved and comforted by Claudia, Nick, and the entire Chester County Food Bank team, the CCFB. A true partner in education, the CCFB has graciously provided food and other assistance to create and maintain the Market Club, a food pantry located at the Gordon Early Literacy Center in Coatesville. Due to CCFB's generous support, our Head Start families are able to secure essential food items free of charge, solving a critical need in the community. We hope that the CCFB team finds comfort in the knowledge that they are sustaining the basic needs of some of our youngest, most vulnerable students and their families. With our sincere gratitude, we are honored to present CCFB with an Outstanding Service Award. Congratulations. The one steamed impossible suddenly becomes possible in the classroom of Heather Kilgore. Heather meets the needs of her students with dignity while still pushing them forward toward their true potential. 
Heather provides the perfect balance to ensure that her students are first safe, comfortable, and full of joy, and then she challenges them to develop communication skills to advocate for their wants and needs so that they can be as independent as possible. Heather, your dedication to the students at the Child and Career Development Center is the model of service we are so very proud of here at the IEO. For these reasons and for so many more, we would like to present you with an outstanding service award to thank you for all that you do. Congratulations, Heather. Ellen Nutter, Teacher Academy and Childhood Care and Education Instructor at TCHS Pickering, has been dedicated to the CCIU for nine and a half years. Ellen is an asset to the CCIU because she establishes an inviting and optimistic atmosphere in her classroom on a daily basis and is extremely dependable and responsive to her students' needs. Her contagious smile is truly a reflection of her cheery demeanor and the pride she takes in each of her students and programs. Ellen goes above and beyond her typical job duties to prepare her students for whichever pathway they are taking after graduation. Her students recognize how really lucky they are to have her as a teacher, a role model, and they are grateful for the love and support she provides to them each and every day. For helping to build an incredible community and a family-like atmosphere within her classroom, we are proud to present Ellen with this outstanding service award. Congratulations, Ellen. As a literacy coordinator at the Child and Career Development Center, Chris Palandino directly supports 400 students. Utilizing his talents as an artist to facilitate collaborative projects and activities to make learning fun, accessible, and impactful for all of the CDC students. In addition to his impact in the classroom, Chris runs a Scholastic Book Fair three times per year, hosts events in collaboration with our art teacher, Mr. Doan, helps run our annual Dr. Seuss Days, and serves as our resident photographer and volunteer at our CDC prom and all of our other special occasions. Chris is a calm, consistent, kind, and his warmth and creativity have opened the door to reading for so many students at the Child and Career Development Center. For these reasons, we are so proud to present him with this outstanding service award. Congratulations, Chris. It is really my honor to speak about my coworker, Danielle Schoninger. Those of you who have had the pleasure of interacting with Danielle have experienced her exceptional leadership firsthand. Through her actions and encouragement, Danielle inspires others to achieve their goals and to accomplish more than they ever imagined possible. As Assistant Director of Human Resources, Danielle succeeds in helping her team, colleagues, and IU partners understand the big picture of her work while remaining a passionate advocate who goes out of her way to support innovative ideas, and she genuinely values input. People always come first for Danielle. Regardless of the numerous responsibilities that demand her attention, Danielle consistently makes time in her schedule to form genuine connections with others. Through her professionalism, empathy, and dedication, Danielle really represents the absolute best of the CCIU, and she brings those qualities out in others as well. Danielle has truly earned our respect, and admiration for all that she does each day and her accomplishments are made possible because of the extraordinary character that is at the heart of who she is. We are grateful to have you on our team and honored to present you with this outstanding service award. Congratulations, Danielle. To quote John Quincy Adams, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader. When we think of Dr. Anita Riccio, no truer words were ever spoken. It is no accident that the countless students, staff, and programs that Anita oversees have flourished under her leadership. When your door is always open and your staff describe you as knowledgeable, dedicated, enthusiastic, inspiring, focused, compassionate, you pave the way for growth and success. Anita, your true unwavering commitment to our students is as immeasurable as the mentorship you provide to your staff and to your colleagues. Because you lead by example and inspire others to rise to every challenge for the benefit of our students, we are honored to present you with an outstanding service award. Congratulations, Anita. As an educational consultant, Dara Klein spends every day providing our districts, fellow educators, and her colleagues with the expert guidance necessary to reach their goals. 
Dara is always more than willing to make time for others, despite her numerous commitments. She effortlessly makes authentic connections with those attending her professional learning experiences and gives every interaction her full attention. Beyond her immense value to the CCIU, Dara has demonstrated her exceptional work ethic and tremendous leadership in her recent work with the Pennsylvania Department of Education. The combination of her humble, positive attitude and assistance in the implementation of professional learning opportunities and comprehensive improvement planning has earned Dara the respect of countless PDE representatives. Dara's motivation to improve the educational experiences of all students is evident in every aspect of her daily work and collaborative spirit. While we could continue listing examples of your incredible customer service, ultimately, we would like to express our sincere gratitude for you, Dara, and present you with this outstanding service award. Congratulations, Dara. As the lead teacher at the Chester County Youth Center, Becky Stillman works tirelessly each day to support and encourage our students. Becky's perseverance, kindness, and patience make her truly exceptional. Her colleagues notice that the one thing that sets Becky apart is her innate ability to form strong and lasting relationships with her students. Becky has voluntarily taken on many of the administrative duties at the Youth Center and serves as a mentor to new teachers to help them navigate the uniqueness of teaching in a detention center and a shelter and has built an excellent rapport with the county administration and staff. Over the last few years, she has completed her special education supervisory program and was a featured presenter at the Title I Neglected and Delinquent Symposium. Her consistent optimism and of course her humor helps staff and peers to create a safe and positive atmosphere for her students. For these reasons, we are so proud to present her with an outstanding service award. Congratulations, Becky. It is rare to find someone who is willing to take on a new challenge after being in a profession for many years. It is even rarer for that same person to admit that this new challenge has helped him become a better teacher. Dr. William Bill McWaters is that rare person. For the past three years, Bill has coached the Chester County Young Physicist Tournament Team. He has inspired dozens of students and has selflessly dedicated his personal time to work with them on physics projects. Rarely do we see someone who so generously gives of themselves for the sole benefit of others, but this is what Bill has done. For his love of teaching and dedication to his students, we are excited to present Dr. William McWaters with an outstanding service award. Congratulations, Bill. For over 16 years, Maria Salazar Williams has worked for the Pennsylvania Migrant Education Program as a part-time student support specialist. She's provided instructional and supportive services to migrant families while also recruiting new families. She has, in a wide variety of roles within the Norristown Area School District and Montgomery and Bucks Counties, ensured that hundreds of migrant students and their parents received appropriate and necessary support so that they could fully engage in education. She is well trusted by parents, beloved by students, and respected by her colleagues. Last year, Maria agreed to take the position of first second grade teacher in the Philadelphia Summer Migrant Program to help make sure the program could open and students and families could take advantage of these resources. We are extremely fortunate that Maria has dedicated her talents to our program for the past 16 years. For these reasons, we are so proud to present her with this Outstanding Service Award. Congratulations, Maria. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. It's my honor to present tonight's award to Communication Specialist Anthony Saracino, known to everyone as AJ. AJ wholeheartedly believes in the CCIU's mission and works tirelessly to ensure that his work is reflective of our mission. His hectic schedule is an exercise in mobility with a focus on the details and no one sweats the details like AJ. Going above and beyond is something we've come to expect from AJ and he never disappoints. Whether he is coordinating visits from state representatives, presenting at a national conference, or teaching a new communication interns the ropes, he is always patient, prepared, and engaged, regardless of his workload. 
and he never misses an opportunity to help his colleagues or to interact with students, which we've also come to expect from him. With a focus on our mission and an eagerness to further it, we are proud to present AJ with an Outstanding Service Award. Congratulations, AJ. At the CCIU, we are passionate about providing our students and their families with the supports necessary for them to succeed. Karen Wright embodies that passion and dedication in her work and attitude every day. As a student management specialist, Karen works closely with family service workers to ensure that those most in need of our services receive expert care. Although Karen has numerous responsibilities, she strives to make meaningful connections with all students. Karen is tireless in her commitment to support Head Start, Head Start parents, and Head Start staff. She demonstrates exceptional patience as she assists parents with everything from enrollment paperwork to ensuring that they feel comfortable sharing important and personal information. She consistently seeks out solutions for even the most challenging situations, and she is a passionate advocate for others. When someone displays the level of kindness and empathy as frequently and as genuinely as Karen does every day, it is impossible to leave her presence without feeling inspired to give nothing less than your best to our students, families, and community. You set an excellent example for us, Karen, and it is for these reasons that we are honored to present you with this Outstanding Service Award. Congratulations, Karen. Being voted into the CCIU Hall of Fame is the highest honor and award a former CCIU staff member can earn. It is given only to people who have left the CCIU at least one year ago and have, who have provided sustained, excellent performance over an extended period of years. Additionally, it is only awarded to those who have had a significant and lasting impact on the IU and the people we serve. This year, Four individuals are being inducted into the Chester County Intermediate Unit Hall of Fame. Elizabeth Beam, Delphine Brown, Rebecca Campbell, and David Cattell. We put together a video tribute to each inductee, reliving some of their greatest accomplishments from their time at the CCIU. We'll start with Liz Beam, who started with the CCIU as a teacher in 1974. In her last position as a TAC consultant in assistive technology, Liz helped countless children with disabilities through the use of technology. Let's let her former colleagues tell the story. I nominated Liz for this award because she's kind and generous, both with her time and her skills. Her philosophy was really the whole idea of presumed competence. Liz was teaching in that way long before that term was ever really popular. I saw her throughout her years at the Child and Career Development Center, just approaching every student with such a positive outlook. And she could look at any child and help figure out a way that they were gonna participate. She always kept students first. She always put in hours of extra time. She always did more. And she did a, she was just so pleasant and just so great to work with that um, I think everybody really appreciated her. Whenever there was a new initiative coming out of the Department of Ed, Liz was the first one to raise her hand. And you couldn't figure out how she could squeeze in one more thing during the day. Um, and Liz absolutely had the best smile and the best laugh of anybody. She just would light up a room when she came into it and everybody loved to partner up with Liz. It was the students that really made me love my career and love uh, trying new things in technology to help them learn. The students and how they interacted in the classroom, that influenced me the most over the years. It made me want to work. It made me want to uh, do the best for them. Liz uh, Beam had a quote at the bottom of her email um, that was written by the Dalai Lama, and it said, be kind whenever possible, and it is always possible. And Liz definitely embodied that whole premise about being kind, no matter what the circumstances are. Even after Liz retired, she was willing to help me out 
with questions or concerns that popped up. She's always willing to lend a hand. I really felt like when she left CDC, it was a great loss, you know, for CDC, but just for her to be able to take her expertise and work with teachers all over the county was a wonderful, wonderful thing. She could take any struggling situation regarding a student and, and, and make it happen for that student. It's because of those traits that she has, that ability to connect and those outstanding technical skills. She looks for the good in every situation and is able to bypass some of the difficulties and challenges in life and have a clear focus on what her goal was. And I think it was always the students that, that came first. Liz has just an easygoing personality, a great listener. You know, those qualities made her an excellent consultant. First of all, those who nominated me, you're all crazy. I just don't know what you were thinking. Um, I'm honored. I'm very thrilled to be a part of this. I remember years ago looking at uh, going to the banquets and seeing the people that were nominated and feeling how deserving they were. It just never really came into my mind that I'd be sitting here talking about this for myself. So honored. Thank you, people. Our next Hall of Fame inductee is Del Brown. By all accounts, Del put her heart and soul into coordinating the driver's education program here at the CCIU, while inspiring students, parents, and colleagues with her positive energy. Del deserves to be nominated for the Hall of Fame. And I think what stands out about Del Brown in all of those people's minds who have had the privilege of working with her is her outstanding customer service. She always has an upbeat attitude. Nothing is it's ever greeted with anything other than, well, let's just try it. What's the worst that could happen? Solid person, this rock of calm, and steadfastness. She approached each parent and each student as an individual. She had this great ability to ease their fears. Driver's education is such an important thing to our youth and to their parents. And um, I was blessed that it's actually a course that people, you know, students want to do. Um, so by being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I feel like what I did made a difference. I think Del's a real good candidate for the Hall of Fame because basically she took the, the driver education program uh, of the IU and got, got it started and really get, really did a lot nice job getting it organized. It was a big improvement when she took over the program. She got things coordinated so everything was taken care of. There were no really no issues or ever omitted or forgotten. She was on, always on top of everything and made it easier for us as instructors. And it's, it's basically pretty easy. Treat people the way you would like to be treated. During reorganization discussions, it was floated the idea that uh, Driver Ed would move over and be part of the Brandywine Virtual Academy because it was online. And I seized that opportunity because when you, when you, when you saw Dell working, you knew she was someone you wanted on your team. So I sent you the video of the roller coaster. <laughs> she was always willing to participate in almost anything you asked her to do, um, including our Halloween roller coaster costume. Dell had a very easygoing, personable, caring tone, no matter who she spoke to. And she would always bend over backwards to make sure both the student and the parent understood fully what it is that they were doing and how to be successful. She was always willing to do anything to improve the program. She was willing to accept new ideas and uh, be very supportive to the staff. She was just a great coworker, and I feel blessed that I got to know her as well as I did and that I was able to, to 
to be literally be in her presence. Mel gave 100% effort in everything that she did. And she always gave that 100% effort with a smile on her face. You can get very far in life being calm, being patient, and being joyful. I miss her. I'm hoping she's enjoying her retirement. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. I was truly, truly surprised, and I really am honored. Um, I used to always joke, my, uh, to my desk, I had to always walk through the hallway where all the pictures were. And I used to always joke saying, I would like to have my picture up there one day. So I really, truly, truly am honored by it. Thank you for those who nominated me. Becky Campbell was a speech and language therapist who inspired everyone around her with her leadership skills, sense of humor, and strength of character. Becky was actually nominated for this honor last year, but we deferred the voting process in hopes that she would be able to attend the awards ceremony this year. Sadly, after a brave fight, Becky passed away in January of this year. Her colleagues and friends were truly inspired by Becky in many, many ways, as you'll see here. I met Becky when I was doing a practicum uh, to get my degree in counseling, in elementary guidance and counseling. Becky and I uh, actually were at the same school. So we got to know each other and we did a little bit of work together. I met Becky Campbell 40 years ago. She truly was an example of the mission of the CCIU that mission of service to students, parents, teachers, and community. I really felt that I looked up to Becky as a leader. I learned so much from her. She just had that knack of meeting people where they were. She would listen, think about something, and then make a comment. She devoted herself to the success of our program. She made us all feel capable of great accomplishments. She would always build us up. Becky's dear friend, Maureen Coulter, couldn't be here today, but really wanted to talk about those qualities that define Becky. And they were really included empathy and kindness, uh, respect and compassion for her students, uh, not only that, respect for her, the teachers she worked with, and parents of the students as well. And that's what not only reflected in what she did, but it was reflected in the person she was. I got some input from the other speech therapists on their feelings about Becky throughout the years and her leadership and her guidance. And so I kind of took out some inspirational words and made a word cloud. I felt that in the, in the years when I was her supervisor and she was the chairperson, th those were the years that were so innovative in our program and there was always something new and different coming down the pike and uh, Becky was always my voice of reason and she would think about it and then she would say, you know, I, I think there's a couple of things we need to consider. and. I, I just always marveled at her wisdom and that is something that I learned from Becky and hopefully tried to implement myself as a leader. She was more of a we person rather than an I person. Every year we're required to survey all of the principals that work with staff in our program. and consistently every year principals would rate Becky extremely satisfied in all areas. I don't think I have ever known a person with such a generous spirit as Becky. Her communication with the faculty, with the teachers, with her parents, with the principals was always outstanding. I think all the things that made her a great speech therapist made her a great friend as well.
Last, but certainly not least, is Dave Cattell. As a special education teacher at the Child and Career Development Center in the 1970s, Dave was always a leader in technology, inspiring everyone around him to become more proficient. He eventually became a member of the TAC team, specializing in assistive technology. Dave's commitment to providing all students the tools they needed to read and write, as well as to communicate, is truly exceptional. In my second year at the IU, I asked to have the ability to supervise the training and consultation specialist. And then Dave became one of my direct reports. And um, Dave was one of the hardest working members of the TAC team. He had a personal mission to make sure that every student, regardless of their disability, would be able to have access to communication. I think he was nominated for the Hall of Fame because his commitment to students that had communication needs and his commitment to including students in the regular education environment didn't waver for the entirety of his career. I nominated Dave for this award because of his long years of service to the children of Chester County and for the high quality of service that he has always provided. The differences that he made with students that were so, so challenged physically and he would find a way to reach them using technologies and find a way for them to reach their um, potential. I started in the late, uh, what was it, 1970s. And um, I, I had a variety of positions and moved around a bit, but I kind of settled in working with students with physical disabilities, which was essentially my training, even though I was generically certified to work with a lot of special ed students. Um, my specialty was students with physical disabilities. And so I always had an orientation to finding other ways of doing things. And that was work that was very satisfying. I, I loved it. I think his dream was exactly what he helped unfold. He was one of those visionaries. He always saw the big picture. Dave is not someone who settled for less than the best he could do with students and also with colleagues. It was very rewarding and interesting work. Every day was different and I was always learning new things. The IU sent me to workshops and to conferences. And, um, you know, I was really able to keep up on the, the edge of what's happening in assistive technology. As we've gone through our career, he has stayed up to date and beyond in current practices for uh, technology uses for kids that have disabilities. Dave is a lifelong learner. He really is an above and beyond kind of guy. So one of the best things about Dave is that he was constantly surrounded by a large group of women and he didn't let that get in the way of participating in any of our conversations or any of the silly baby showers or wedding showers that we made him participate. He laughed along with us and often would be engaged in finding something funny about the event. Well, I'm very honored and it was really a privilege to work on the tax staff because it's a group of dedicated, um, really smart people <laughs> and um, who are experts in their field. So I'm really humbled by that um, because I consider all of my colleagues to have been experts and to be experts. And um, so it, yeah, it's really quite an honor to be nominated by them. Congratulations to all of our Hall of Fame honorees. We are indebted to you for your service over the years. The Chester County Intermediate Unit has been extraordinarily successful over the last 48 years. And as I mentioned earlier, the key element to that success is our staff, in particular, those who have been honored here tonight. On behalf of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Board, administrative staff, students, and the people of Chester County, thank you not only for all that you do, but also for the outstanding example you have set for us all. And to all of our guests who have helped celebrate this special night, thank you for your support of the CCIU and the staff you are here to celebrate alongside. While we wish we were celebrating in person, I'm so glad you have joined us here virtually this evening. 
And lastly, I would like to thank the human resources, communications, and IT departments for putting together tonight's fabulous event. Thank you all again, and stay well. <laughs>